there's a fine line between being opinionated and being judgmental. Where do you sit? We can be opinionated without being judgmental, but we often confuse the two. People may feel judged when someone's solely sharing an opinion, or someone may be seen as opinionated who's actually just, frankly, being quite judgmental. So I just want to look at the difference between the two here. When we have an opinion, we ha- or when we're opinionated, we have an opinion about something, but we're not necessarily married to that opinion. We may consider shifting our perspective if someone else gives us new information that convinces us that our opinion is wrong. When we're judgmental, often we're really attached to that opinion and we attribute the opinion to characteristics of the other person. And so we're judging them having a different opinion or their opinion of the situation. We're not leaving space for both our opinion and their opinion. And the fact that we can both have different opinions on the same topic and that that doesn't make either person bad, let's say in quotation marks. One of the best examples of this has been around COVID. Lots of lots of strong opinions around COVID, around how to social distance, whether or not we should social distance, whether or not we should wear masks, how to wear masks. There's a flurry of conversation around this and people who have some very strong opinions. Where this slips into judgment, though, is when the other person's opinion is associated with uh, a negative view of that person because of their opinion. So you can disagree with someone's opinion and still respect them, Or you can disagree with them and, you know, think they're an idiot, quite frankly. Uh, And that's where we're kind of slipping into judgment. And it happens to all of us. I'm not going to pretend that I'm immune to it and say that I never judge anyone. But there's space to have a strong opinion without necessarily being judgmental. I know for myself, so I used to be incredibly judgmental, judgmental of everyone around me, frankly, really judgmental of myself. And as I worked to be less judgmental, I was kind of for a while mixed up in not wanting to share too much opinion because I didn't want to be judgmental. And it took me a while to realize that I can have an opinion and not judge, um, you know, by staying open to listening to other people's perspectives. And that doesn't mean that you have to switch your perspective. You know, you can you can be opinionated, listen to someone else's opinion and still disagree. But the, the, the line between the two, in my opinion, is how open we are to truly listening and trying to understand the other person's perspective and not seeing their opinion as being, you know, a core part of that person's characteristics and that they are, frankly, inferior because of holding a different opinion to us. So my suggestion to you today is stop and ask yourself sometimes, am I being opinionated here or am I being judgmental? And if you find yourself being judgmental, the question you can ask yourself is what can I do to try to better understand where this person is coming from? It's gonna shift you into empathy, shift you out of judgment, help you to understand. So I hope that this has been helpful.